PA at Home, presented by the Public Lobby of Cincinnati in Hamilton County. Hello everyone, I'm Miss Ashley, a children's librarian with the Public Library of Cincinnati in Hamilton County. I'm here with you today to do a fun STEAM activity that you can do with your family in your very own home. You'll use items that you find in your own kitchen. The activity is fizzing paint. It's going to be so fun. Let me show you how to do it. First, we're gonna use um, distilled vinegar, baking soda, and regular paint to make our paint fizzy. Let me show you how we start. Take your container and put your paint. Depending on how big of a painting you're gonna make, you can use as much paint as you want. And then you just use heaping spoonfuls of your baking soda. Now you might think, man, that's a lot of baking soda, but your paint is really going to need to be more like a paste. So you just mix it in until it starts to get pretty solid and paste-like. Think about the toothpaste that comes out of your um, toothpaste when you brush your teeth. You want it to be pretty thick. So once you get it all incorporated, go ahead and grab your paintbrush and get creating. So I already have my red side done and I wanted to do a fun color play to see how the colors go together when we make our project start fizzing. So I'm choosing blue. Blue's my favorite color, but you can choose whatever your favorite color is. So let's get, make it kind of thick there. Don't be shy with how much you're using. Parents, this is going to be a fun, messy activity. Let your kids be as wild as they want. And then I am going to use this medicine dropper to start making my paint fizz. But you can also use things like a squirt bottle or any other dropper that you might have at home. So here's the fun part. Our baking soda and our vinegar are going to react. So let's see what that looks like. So it's gonna start bubbling and fizzing and as it bubbles and fizzes, it pushes the liquid across the paper and it's going to make fun designs and fizz into each other. So I'm gonna put some in my red and see what that looks like. But then one thing I like to do with my fizzing paints is mix them together and see what kind of colors they make. So this can be a fun activity that you also work with color combinations with your kids. And it's gonna turn into a pretty fun, abstract looking painting. And when you're done, they will have learned about chemical reactions with the baking soda and the vinegar. So that was our fizzing paint activity where we learned about chemical reactions and color mixing. Stay tuned for more fun activities that you can do at home. Thank you.